Okay, so a couple of days back I shared this Android 12 GSI video and many of you asked me about it along with the process to try this one on your device. And to be honest with you guys, I wanted to share the process that does not harm your device in any possible way. Hence I took the time and tried it out on my device and then thought to share it with you guys. So first of all if you wish to try this Android 12 GSI, you need to have an unlocked bootloader especially on your oneplus device as it will lead to the crash dump mode if you don't have one and to recover from it you can just long press the power key or press volume up and power key and choose the restart option using the power key itself and you will be back to your stock android so here is a video on how you can unlock the bootloader of your oneplus device so follow me and watch this video till the end also make sure you tap on that subscribe button as it really helps the channel out. Now that mandatory stuff is out of your way, let's get into the process. First of all, a GSI is not like an official update. It is just a system image that has some changes and features that you can try in their early stages as such. So don't expect it to be a stable one and you can just try it for now without harming your device as such. All right, now first of all to try this Android 12 GSI, you don't need to download anything at all externally and though your data won't be lost as such but I would still advise you to take a backup as like on my oneplus 8t it goes into crash dump mode though the data is still not lost but better safe than sorry right now all you have to do is first of all enable the developer options in settings and to do that just tap on the build number seven times in the about phone section and the developer options will get enabled for you as simple as that so now go to settings go to system and now go to the developer options so in the developer options just scroll down until you see this dsu loader option so just click on that and you will get two options now first one is without google apps and the second one is with google apps so i will choose the second one now and you can just wait and watch the action so it takes like 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your internet speed and once it downloads and installs everything for you yeah it was that simple guys you're welcome but don't think of it as a daily driver material as such and that's why coming back to your default room is like a joke and i'll get to that in a second now after the completion you will get this system update is ready to install notification so restart to boot directly into it or discard if you are not ready as simple as that now just click on this reboot button and just wait for a minute now so there you go you are into android s gsi now so set up your device and one more thing this one does not support in display fingerprint scanners so i hope you will keep that in mind and now you are all set so we have booted to android 12 gsi now and you can have a look at some of the features that it has and I won't go in depth into all the features and stuff because I already shared that in another video and here is a card to that. Lastly to go back to your default android version you get this notification on the top so just click on the restart button and you will be back to Oxygen OS 11 in no time. And yes it was that simple guys. So that was it for this android 12 GSI on any android device running on android 11. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if it helps you out. Lastly, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.